Root Canal Treatment Root Canal Treatment, Endodontics, is a dental procedure used to treat infection at the center of a tooth. Root canal treatment is not painful and can save a tooth that might otherwise have to be removed completely. Why it's needed The infection at the center of a tooth, the root canal, is caused by bacteria that live in the mouth and invade the tooth. This can happen after tooth decay, leaky fillings, damage to teeth as a result of trauma, such as a fall. Tooth structure. A tooth is made up of two parts. The crown is the top part of the tooth that's visible in the mouth. The root extends into the bone of the jaw, anchoring the tooth in position. Teeth also consist of enamel, the hard outer coating, dentine, a softer material that supports the enamel and forms most of the tooth. Cementum, a hard material that coats the root's surface. Dental pulp, the soft tissue at the center of the tooth. The root canal system contains the dental pulp and extends from the crown of the tooth to the end of the root. A single tooth can have more than one root canal. When root canal treatment is needed. Root canal treatment is only required when dental x-rays show that the pulp has been damaged by a bacterial infection. The pulp will begin to die if it's infected by bacteria, allowing the bacteria to then multiply and spread. The symptoms of a pulp infection include pain when eating or drinking hot or cold food and drink, pain when biting or chewing, a loose tooth, as the infection progresses, these symptoms often disappear as the pulp dies. Your tooth then appears to have healed, but the infection has in fact spread through the root canal system. You eventually get further symptoms such as, pain when biting or chewing returning, swelling of the gum near the affected tooth, pus oozing from the affected tooth, facial swelling, the tooth becoming a darker color, It's important to see your dentist if you develop toothache. If your tooth is infected, the pulp cannot heal by itself. Leaving the infected tooth in your mouth may make it worse. There may also be less chance of the root canal treatment working if the infection within your tooth becomes established. Antibiotics, a medicine to treat bacterial infections, are not effective in treating root canal infections. How root canal treatment is done. To treat the infection in the root canal, the bacteria need to be removed. This can be done by either removing the bacteria from the root canal system, root canal treatment, removing the tooth, extraction. But removing the tooth is not usually recommended as it's better to keep as many of your natural teeth as possible. After the bacteria have been removed, the root canal is filled and the tooth sealed with a filling or crown. In most cases the inflamed tissue near the tooth will heal naturally. Before having root canal treatment, you'll usually be given a local anesthetic. This means the procedure should be painless and no more unpleasant than having a filling. Root canal treatment is usually successful. In about 9 out of 10 cases a tooth can survive for up to 10 years after root canal treatment. Recovering from root canal treatment. It's important to look after your teeth when recovering from root canal treatment. You should avoid biting on hard foods until your treatment is complete. After your final treatment, your restored tooth should no longer be painful, although it may feel sensitive for a few days. You can take over-the-counter painkillers, such as paracetamol or ibuprofen, to relieve any discomfort. 
Return to your dentist if you still have pain or swelling after using painkillers. In most cases it's possible to prevent the need for further root canal treatment by keeping your teeth clean, not eating too much sugary food, giving up smoking if you smoke. How root canal treatment is performed. Root canal treatment is carried out by your dentist over two or more appointments. If the work is particularly complex, your dentist may refer you to a specialist in root canal treatment, known as an endodontist. Preparing for root canal treatment. Before having root canal treatment, your dentist may take a series of x-rays of the affected tooth. This allows them to build up a clear picture of the root canal and assess the extent of any damage. Root canal treatment is usually carried out under local anesthetic, a painkilling medicine that numbs your infected tooth and the gum around it. In some cases where the tooth has died and is no longer sensitive, it may not be necessary to use a local anesthetic. Removing the pulp. Your dentist will place a rubber sheet, dam, around the tooth to ensure it's dry during treatment. The dam also prevents you swallowing or breathing in any chemicals the dentist uses. Your dentist will open your tooth through the crown, the flat part at the top, to access the soft tissue at the center of the tooth, pulp. They'll then remove any infected pulp that remains. If you have a dental abscess, which is a pus-filled swelling, your dentist will be able to drain it at the same time. Cleaning and filling the root canal. After the pulp has been removed, your dentist will clean and enlarge the root canal. The root canal is usually very narrow, which makes it difficult to fill. Your dentist will use a series of small files to enlarge the canals and make them a regular shape so they can be filled. This part of the treatment may take several hours and may need to be carried out over a number of visits. Your front incisor and canine teeth, biting teeth, usually have a single root containing one root canal. The premolars and back molar teeth, chewing teeth, have two or three roots, each containing either one or two root canals. The more roots a tooth has, the longer the treatment will take to complete. If the treatment needs to be carried out over several sessions, your dentist may put a small amount of medicine in the cleaned canal in between visits to kill any remaining bacteria. The tooth will then be sealed using a temporary filling. If you have symptoms from the infection, such as a raised temperature or large swelling, you may be given antibiotics to help manage and prevent further infection. Sealing and fixing the tooth. At your next visit, the temporary filling and medicine within the tooth is removed and the root canal filling will be inserted. This, along with a filling, seals the tooth and prevents reinfection. Root-filled teeth are more likely to break than healthy unrestored teeth, so your dentist may suggest placing a crown on the tooth to protect it. In some cases, a root-filled tooth may darken, particularly if it's died as a result of injury like a knock to the tooth. There are several ways your dentist can treat discoloration, such as whitening the tooth using chemicals. Adding a crown. A crown is a cap that completely covers a real tooth. It might be necessary to use a crown after root canal treatment to prevent the tooth fracturing. Crowns can be made from metal or porcelain, or both. A ceramic material, powdered glass. The dentist will reduce the size of your tooth and use the crown to replace what's removed. 
A mold of your tooth will be taken to ensure the crown is the right shape and size, and fits your tooth accurately. When fitting the crown, cement will be used to glue the crown to the trimmed down tooth. If there's only a small amount of tooth left after the root canal treatment, a post can be cemented in the root canal and used to help keep the crown in place. How successful is root canal treatment? Root canal treatment is usually successful at saving the tooth and clearing the infection. Around 9 out of 10 root treated teeth survive for 8 to 10 years. Having a crown fitted to the tooth after root canal treatment is important for improving tooth survival rates. If you keep your teeth clean, your treated tooth should survive for a long time. The survival of your tooth depends on a number of factors, including how much of the natural tooth remains, how well you keep your teeth clean, the biting forces on the tooth. But if an infection does return, the root canal treatment can be repeated. Or if treatment has already been carried out to a high standard and the infection remains, a small operation to remove the root tip, an apicoectomy, may be carried out to treat the infection. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and click on the subscribe button for more amazing videos.